lift your name on high Lord, I love to sing your praises I'm so glad you're in my life I'm so glad you came to save us You came from heaven to earth to show the way From the earth to the cross, my death to pay From the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky Lord, I lift your name on high I'm so glad you're in my life I'm so glad you came to save us You came from heaven to earth to show Lord, I lift your name on high You came from heaven to earth To show the way From the earth to the cross My dad to pay From the cross to the grave From the grave to the sky Lord, I lift your name on high From the cross to the grave From the grave to the sky Lord, I lift your name on children. Good morning. It's beautiful to be in your midst today. We thank God for the gift of life. So today we have a special lesson. But before we we'll start the lesson, let us, can we pray? Can you just close your eyes, bow your heads? Let's pray. Let's have a word of prayer. In Jesus' name, our Father, we thank you for your mercies that are new every morning. Father, even as we want to learn your word, we want to learn from you today. We ask, O oh God, that you breathe upon us, give us understanding, let us be better children, in Jesus' name, 
Amen. Oh, children, today we're talking about the woman that was really, really very sick. She had a terrible condition, but she needed help. No doctor could help her. And so, let me not give you the full details. Just hold on, sit back, and listen. Then I'll see you in a bit. Thank you. Bible reading. Mark chapter 5, verses 21 to 43. Jairus was a leader at the synagogue, a place of worship, much like a temple or a church in Capernaum. His 12-year-old daughter was very seriously ill. Although many of those in the synagogue would not have turned to Jesus for help, Jairus went searching for him. Jesus had visited the other side of Lake Galilee and returned back to Capernaum. There was a large crowd that waited for him. Remember the storm on the Lake Galilee on his way to Gerasenes? Jairus came and fell at Jesus' feet, pleading with him to come to his house as his daughter was dying. Why did Jairus come to Jesus? As Jesus was on his way, the crowd almost crushed him. Among the crowd was a woman who had been ill for 12 years with an illness that made her bleed. She had spent all her money going to doctors to make her better, but her condition had only gotten worse. In Jewish law, her illness, as it caused her to bleed, made her unclean, so she had to avoid going near other people or touching them when she was suffering. Hoping to go unnoticed, she crept up behind Jesus. If I just touch the helm of his garment, I will be healed, she thought. The woman reached down and touched the edge of Jesus' garment. Immediately, her bleeding stopped and she felt well. Note, on the corners of the Jewish prayer shawl were four tassels or sisiot. These tassels were to remind each Jewish man of his responsibility to fulfill God's commandments, but also came to represent that man's authority. Numbers chapter 15 verses 37 to 41. At once, Jesus knew power had gone out from him. He turned around in the crowd and asked, Who touched me? His disciples replied, Everyone is crowding around and pushing, yet you ask who touched you? But Jesus said, Someone touched me. I know that power has gone out from me. Think about it. Jesus said power had left his body when the woman touched him. Did she really touch him or his clothes? She wouldn't want to touch him because she was unclean and she should not touch anyone according to Jewish law. Where did Jesus get power? Jesus received power from spending time in prayer for all the work he needed to do. How was it possible for the woman to remove power from his body? Faith moves the power of God. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. God is moved to action by our faith, even when he's in the middle of doing something else. He was so powerful that it went through his clothes. I guess Jesus is a superhero. The woman came trembling and fell at his feet. She confessed in front of everyone that she had touched him and had instantly been healed. Jesus replied, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace. While Jesus was still speaking, someone came to break terrible news to Jairus. Your daughter is dead, he said. Don't bother the teacher anymore. Hearing this, Jesus said to Jairus, Don't be afraid. Just believe and your daughter will be healed. How do you think Jairus felt? It must have been very hard for him to wait patiently for his daughter to be healed. Not only that, but to hear that she had died? Jairus knew that Jesus could heal his daughter. He also saw the woman with the blood disease healed by his power. That increased his faith even more. But could Jesus bring his daughter back to life? He was doubtful, but what did Jesus say? Don't be afraid, just believe. Jesus went to Jairus' house, where people were wailing and mourning. Stop wailing, Jesus said. She is not dead, but asleep. The mourners, who were people hired to cry at burials or at the homes of people who had died, laughed at Jesus, knowing the girl was dead. Then Jesus took Peter, John, and James, and the child's parents inside the house. 
Why did Jesus take only Peter, James, and John? They were the closest disciples to Jesus. Jesus took the girl by the hand and said, Talitha kum, which means, daughter, stand up. Her spirit returned, and at once she stood up. Praise God! Jesus told her astonished parents to give her something to eat. Then Jesus ordered them not to tell anyone what had happened. Why? Jesus did not want people focusing on the miracles he performed, but rather the message he proclaimed and the death he was going to die. The same is true today. God would rather that we be focused on the healing miracle of salvation through Jesus Christ instead of focusing on other healings and miracles. Conclusion Only Jesus has the power and authority over death. If you are saved by the Lord Jesus, you should have faith in Jesus' great power. To have faith in God means to be convinced that He is God and He can do anything. So read these verses. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5 Philippians chapter 4 verse 19 I invite you, if you are not saved, you need to ask God for faith in the great power of Jesus to save you from your sin. Our memory verse is Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. And without faith, it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. Our prayer. Talk to God in prayer and tell him what your problems are in school or at home. Ask him for extra strength to believe his word. Ask him to give you faith and help you in your time of need. Jesus got into a boat and crossed the Sea of Galilee. He stood on the shore and a large crowd gathered around him. Then Jairus, one of the rulers in the synagogue, (laughs) fell at Jesus' feet and begged for his help. My daughter is about to die. Please come touch her so she will be healed and live, he said. Jesus went with Jairus, and many people followed, crowding around him. In the crowd was a woman who had been bleeding for 12 years. She had seen many doctors and spent all her money, but no one could help her. She was getting worse. The woman had heard about Jesus, so she came up behind him in the crowd and touched his clothes. She said to herself, if I touch even his clothes, I will be healed. As soon as she touched Jesus' clothes, her bleeding stopped and she knew she was healed. At that moment, Jesus felt that power had gone out of him. He turned around and said, who touched my clothes? Jesus' disciples pointed out that many people were crowded around him, but Jesus kept looking around. The woman knowing she was healed, came forward and fell before Jesus. She told him what had happened. Jesus said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. You are healed. While Jesus was speaking, some men came from Jairus' house and said, Your daughter is dead. Do not bother Jesus anymore. Jesus heard what the men said. And he told Jairus, do not be afraid, just believe. Jesus and three of his disciples went to Jairus' house. The people there were crying and wailing loudly. Jesus said, why are you crying? The child is not dead. She is sleeping. The people laughed at Jesus and he told them all to go. Jesus took Jairus and his wife into the room where the child was. He took the girl by the hand and said, Little girl, get up. Immediately, the girl got up and began walking around. Jairus and his wife were amazed. Jesus told them to give the girl some food and to not tell anyone what had happened. By healing the woman, and raising the little girl from the dead, Jesus showed his power as the Messiah. 
Jesus died on the cross and rose again to save people from sin and death. When we trust in Jesus, God forgives our sin and changes us to be more like his son. Wow, how did you see that lesson? I hope you got one or two things from that story. The mercy of God, the power of God at play. Remember the woman wanted help desperately and she went for it. She had the faith. She had so strong of faith and the Lord honored her faith. So children, have faith in God. No matter what you're going through, there's help in the name of Jesus. Amen. So we don't want to close this broadcast without you giving your heart to Jesus. In case you have not said this prayer before, can we just pray together? It's just very simple. Just close your eyes and just say, Dear Jesus, I invite you into my heart. Come and be my Lord. Come and be my forever friend. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, children. The Lord bless you. We appreciate you. So we'll see you again next week. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.